So can I have for you as I sit here in this Del Taco line, um, I have something special for you. I've been uh, having my creative juices starting to flow again. And I've been thinking about how I would play the character right now at 33. And um, I'm gonna give you a little improv for your amusement. Hey, a little fun, right? Preston Roberts, uh, Ryan Robbins playing the 2006 version of Something's Missing by King Gray. <laughs> so you people uh, follow me now, right? It's like I'm in a cage everywhere I am. Because y'all want to know about the freak. Y'all. You want to know about the freak. Huh? They call me Preston Roberts. You see, I, uh, I have this this entire story written about the way I treated my son as father. And you all, well, you all call it, what is, you call it child molestation or you call it some sort of uh, uh, devilish kind of connotation to try to make it seem like I'm a, I'm a disgusting man. You want to know what disgusting is? Yeah. yeah. You want to know what disgusting is? Is me getting fucked in prison for every goddamn day for 25 straight years because I'm a registered sex offender because of the way I chose to raise my child. Don't get me wrong. He came into my car that day. He walked from his parents all the way. Didn't even look back and he sat to my car, he sat right there with that chestnut hair. And he said, hey. He said, hey. So I said, hey there, little man. How you doing? You want to go out for a little bit of ice cream? Something. Make you happy. Sorry about it. your old parents just leaving you with me. Uh, maybe I could take you home and show you uh, the type of love you're supposed to be treated like. <laughs> yeah, that's just nothing. Anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, it's this whole idea that I'm a freak because of the way I raise my boy. Biggest reason why uh, this story is such a big deal, right, is because they, some, this man writes this play. Uh, he decided to write a play about my life, put it on Broadway or whatever. Man, people play me. I'm supposed to be some sort of uh, disgusting man. Why? Because uh, he sang a little bit of Hallelujah. Is that what we're talking about here? Because he, he sang some Hallelujah when he came back from the. Uh, well, seven years that I spent raising him like a man the best I could. He came home and he was a wreck. He was like a piece of shit. Socked his father in the belly because his father's a bitch. Uh, and don't even get me started on that. Man, I have a lot more for him in store. You just wait. Now, for you people out there that say I'm a freak because of the way that I raised my child. Why? Because he talked about the best thing. Do his mom. And my 
I'm wanting to hear the story. Hi, thank you very much. Sorry, I'm in the middle of it. You can take care. Yeah, uh, as you can see, um, I had to leave this, uh, the, well, reality for about, I don't know, about 15 seconds while, uh, uh, Mr. Playing Me, who thinks he's so good at playing me, my Ryan Robbins boy, uh, get his little meal from uh, the Del Taco, right? All right. Well, I'm going to go back to uh, explaining to you people how I raised my boy. And because y'all in that audience were so crying because of the way you sang hallelujah. <laughs> well, you know what you sang hallelujah for. It's just a, it's a beautiful song. Hey, y'all. Uh, Disgusted by that somehow, right? I mean, I see it every night. I see it looks on your faces. Every single time the boy gets to sing hallelujah in the second act before his daddy, his uh, <laughs> hero of a dad, all star dad, right? First left his fucking son in the schoolyard for 15 hours while a child molested her, went and took him and raised him brought him back uh, like a piece of shit and um, not respecting you. Why? Because you're a little bitch. You want to know why you're a bitch? George uh, Robinson. You want to know why you're a bitch? <laughs> well, it's real It's real easy. I mean, everybody sees it every single night. The little boy starts talking about hallelujah, right? And it's just so much of a big you know, just travesty because of uh, the way that he says the story about the hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. In fact, you know, I see uh, stuff, uh, most of you when you leave at night. And there's a particular lady in the audience that I am looking at right now who does it every single night. You know who you are. Why do you come see the show? Why do you continuously put yourself through a uh, clearly rated R graphic uh, depiction of a child molestation or a, or a freak, right? Some some sort of freak like Preston Roberts. Uh, cause he, uh, <laughs> raised his son the best he could. He said the hallelujah when you want to know what a, what a real father did. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to know why all oh, y'all were yelling and what? <laughs> because as soon as he told that boy, uh, that boy told his mother exactly everything I do with the Vaseline. You know what his daddy did? He went out, he wailed like a little bitch, got a shotgun, put it to his head, and blew his fucking brains out. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's a man for you. He went out and shot his fucking brains out. Yeah, that's a daddy for you. Huh? So when you sit there and you just judge me for how man is a man to his child, I need y'all to ask yourselves, what would history do? <laughs> History. You know what history is, right? It's just a bunch of uh, uh, made-up tales about the way that people before us want to uh, really just kind of look in their life. Well, they're not like just any other piece of shit like the rest of us. Huh? It's just history retold over and over again. Uh, but, you know, with a little bit of, uh, well, you know, it's just uh, George Washington. He's just another uh, guy, right? This shit pissed like the rest of us. He had his little ones, too. Thomas Jefferson. Save your Thomas Jefferson. He, 
he, you know, he done things with his slaves, right? Yeah, Thomas Jefferson owned slaves and raped every single one of them. Well, most of them, probably about 85% of them, but who's Thomas Jefferson, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's been us, us kind of people forever. And they, you, you people, hail them. George Washington, you are not. And yeah, you sit there in the audience and you look at me like I'm so sort of a freak. Because the way I love that boy, the best I can, can I say some hallelujah? Thank you. Father went in the back, got a fucking shotgun and shot his fucking brains out. Yeah, you want to know why I like telling that story? Because that motherfucker will never ever be the father. Ever be the kind of father I was to that boy. <laughs> because I went out of the boy. Well, I, I hate every single one of you. Judging me. <laughs> She's fucking up my piss. You know what happened to me? I was in prison for 25 fucking years. I got fucked with a goddamn ass. Because of the way he tells the story about Hallelujah. It's just a song. Uh, it's one of them, uh, the fine little dance songs. Hallelujah. What? Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, y'all can tell y'all a story, though. Y'all want to know why I am the way I am, huh? Hey, you want a little history lesson? Well, in history, you learn that all them, them, uh, them fellas who we all thought was so perfect, like George Washington, they what? You want to know what happened to me? All right, I'm going to tell you one more little, little tale. So that y'all can understand why I am the way I am. And why I love just a freak. I was about, I think I was about, I was about 10 years old, right? Complain. And my mama was going around with this old fella. Jealous. <laughs> you know, I'll never forget. He drove this uh, this old Hudson Hornet, right? This old Hudson Hornet that he kept. And I tell you, this man every single night came to my mama's house and kept that Hudson Hornet shining. <laughs> yeah, shining as a motherfucking kitchen plate. Yeah, yeah how, how that car used to shine. So, you know, my mother, he wouldn't let him smoke in the house, nah. So, you know what I would do? He'd come outside, the old Hudson Hornet. I'd go outside and play the ball. And he'd uh, you know, ask me if I want to play the ball a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Throw the ball around. Uh, kind of go for a catch. I didn't have much for father. I said, I figured, hey, little boy, why not? Until one day, he, uh, well, one day when he decided to play the catch game with me, you know, when you're just supposed to catch the ball and, and, and then throw it back. Well, he decided to invite me into his old hustle room and he said, hey, why don't you come on in and um, you want to, here, uh, Preston, how about I show you a little bit more about the radio, huh? Yeah. Oh, what? No, no, why don't you come a little closer, Preston? Uh, because I have to show you how you turn on the radio. Huh? What? I said to myself, to turn on the radio, you never... So then he said, well then, so Preston, you're not gonna... You're not doing it right. You're gonna make your mommy very angry if you don't come here right now, this very second, and grab the fucking radio. They say at that point... But what? Before I knew it, he held me down. Like, 
he was he was like, Preston, if you don't um come and turn the radio on the way I ask you to turn the radio on, then maybe I'll tell your mother that you I don't know fell off of a bullet in your head. Boy! And he would do that. You see, he'd booze me every night. Every night. And I didn't like being held down. Like being, uh, I didn't like being muscled like that. You know, I didn't, I didn't appreciate the way he, uh, he changed up his story from, um, Hey Preston, do you wanna what do you wanna throw the ball around here, buddy? So why don't you come into my car every single day and let me show you how to turn the radio on? And if you don't do it the way that I want you to turn the radio on, Preston, well then maybe I'll tell your mother that you're a little piece of yeah. Or just whatever he make it. He made me feel like I was He tortured me every single day. <laughs> and he held it down. I was like, this is, this is, this is. Of course, now, I played that up for all the jelly ass hitch. <laughs> what? What? Oh, y'all thought I was, you know, you see, you thought I was, uh, you thought I was serious. Well, I wasn't serious. I had to play that up. You know, these motherfuckers in prison trying to make out some, I don't know, uh, explanation for my brain the way I think. What I'm going to tell you right now. And I'm going to be real clear for all you people. Especially you motherfuckers. My fucking auditorium every single night and come back and watch the same man do the same thing, blow his fucking brains out, and I laugh. And all you people. So I'm gonna end it with this. Everybody's got a picture from there. It's society. Yeah. yeah, the way society wants them to be. So then we are told my motherfucking sicko brother when you sit there in the audience and look at me. And, and cry because some boy sings some goddamn hallelujah song from the goddamn radio. You ask yourself one question who's the freak? Is it you or is it me? Because everybody's got a picture of them. That society wants them to be. So I love that boy the best I could. And if you or any other people want to sit there and look at me like I'm some sort of piece of shit fucking freak bastard, then you can all fuck the entirety of your entire selves. Because I love the boy the best I could, you understand? Get the fuck out of my face with that camera.